Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be trying to fix this dishwasher here. This is a new C1 and the model number is ZDT41. Now my wife said around about a month ago that it's not washing the dishes properly, they're coming out dirty. And I thought it might be a problem with the heater element because that's failed on this before. So what we did is we put it on a, a, an even higher wash, a 70 degree wash and then checked it out as soon as it finished and everything was steaming hot so I thought well it can't be that and then I thought well it must be just a case of there being sort of pushed in there incorrectly maybe knives are hanging down and stopping the, uh, the arms and stuff from spinning so we were careful with the loading of it and that didn't work either so basically I was sort of confused about what the problem could be until I looked very closely at it yesterday and it's quite obvious when you look close what the problem is. So basically what we did, just to test it, let me just show you. We just put some cups in, but we put them in the, uh, well, the correct way, but the wrong way for the dishwasher. And you can see it has filled with water. But then if you look in the mugs, I mean, look at this one here. You can see this has had hot chocolate in it and it hasn't got rid of any of that. And it's not really that grained in. You know, if I was to wipe this now with my finger, it is coming off. So uh, you can see that obviously the spray is not getting to there. So I know there's nothing wrong with the heater. So what I did is I had a closer look with the actual arms. And if you look closely, the arms, now these are the original arms, they've never been taken off, they've never been cleaned or anything. But if you look at them, you can see that in the holes, they do actually, that one looks okay, they do actually look quite scaled up. Now I live in a very hard water area. Let's have a look at this side here. I mean, look at this side here. You can see that that one and that one look completely blocked. That one possibly? Yeah, and if we have a look at the bottom one, I've noticed that the bottom one is quite hard to spin. Apologies for the P down there. <laughs> but the, yeah, the bottom one's quite hard to spin. There's a lot of damage on it here, and what that is from is from like knives and stuff dropping down, and then what happens is as that's spinning, it keeps catching on the knife, and then it makes, uh, makes the mark there. But if you have a look, look at that one there. It's actually something sticking out of that one. So I think that I just need to take the arms off and clear all of those nozzles and possibly, you know, flush them through, like reverse flush them. So maybe get a hose pipe through, uh, well, no, not reverse flush, but take it off, get the hose pipe through there, get a needle in each of these and try to kind of get it so every single one's clear. And I reckon after that, it's gonna be working again. So let's try and get these arms off. Now, I've never taken these arms off before. Again, like I keep saying in these videos, don't copy me. I might well be doing things wrong. I might end up breaking the arms. I've looked at the price of new ones. Just a quick look. It looks like the bottom one costs about £25 and the top one £15. So for £40, it looks like I can get it working again. But I would rather use these ones because, you know, they do, they're not snapped or anything. I think they're just scaled up. Also, I'm pretty sure that should spin better than that. It seems to be, it seems to be very rough. So let's see if we can get these off. Okay, so let's start with the bottom one. So let's get rid of this bottom tray, which just lifts out. That's nice and easy. Now with this one here, let's see if it just pulls out. So, remember these have never been done before, so they might be stiffer than normal. Okay, I'm not gonna yank it out, but I can see there's clips underneath it, so I'm actually gonna move those clips. If you have a look, can you see underneath here, we have a clip here, so I should be able to just kind of get some, uh, might be able to just do it with my fingers. So obviously that clip has to come out, and that clip has to come out there as well. I probably could just use a screwdriver to ease them out. I wonder whether a bit of force would just take it off. I think I'm going to use a screwdriver just to ease it out because it'd be slightly, a slightly safer way of doing it. Right, rather than the screwdrivers, I'm just going to use a couple of knives. So I'm going to put that in there just to ease, ease that one out. Oh, there you go, and you get to one side. But very easy to do, just put it in there and ease it out. I'm sure you could just use brute strength and absolutely rip that out. It's just that because these are quite old, they might be a bit more brittle than, for example, new ones. Now, if you have a look in there, look, you can already see the scale. And that is definitely scale, that's not dirt, that is, you can hear it, that's scale. 
So I'm gonna to have to clean all that up. That's gonna also hinder how it spins as well because it's kind of grating against that. Right, let's get this top one out. So with the top one, let's just empty out the uh, water-filled cup. And let's unclip the sides here. So if you have a look at the sides, you can see that there's a bit here that we can just move to the side and that will allow us to take out, there you go, you see it just pops to the side and it will allow us to take this out completely. So now we can just put it down here and let's have a look, see if it's the same, same sort of setup. Okay, that one, just a bit of brute strength just to lift off so it looks like it just pops off at an angle. Yeah, there we go, that comes off very easy. Okay, and again I can see little bits of scale just in here. You see? So I'm hoping we can clean these out and get them working like new again. I'm thinking that this, is, this one itself, this arm, should be okay because the holes are quite big so there's no real place I don't think for the scale to build up in there because everything looks like just a, a big kind of pipe. Right, okay, let's uh, have a think about how we're going to clear the scale out of these arms. Okay, so I've got them on my little mat here and I'm going to try to just clean them out using things like tweezers, a little screwdriver, I've even got a little needle here. Now I've asked my wife and she's given me this professional lime scale remover, but if I'm using this, I'll probably use this outside. It's supposed to, you're supposed to just put a bit on and it's supposed to uh, like dissolve it away. But I'm thinking most of this will come out by just poking around because it really is absolutely everywhere. I mean, even if you look at the side here, can you see that's completely blocked up? And that one. So, uh, yeah, look at that one there. So this is why the dishes are not getting the spray off water because only so many of these holes are free, so only so many of the dishes are gonna get sprayed. I presume it needs to be spraying out everywhere to clean the whole basket of dishes. So it's kind of really obvious when you know, but I've never, I've never done this before. And even in my old house, I had a Bosch Slimline dishwasher that I had there for, I think I had it for 10 years, and I never once had this problem, and I never had to clean it. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the next owner had to do it a few months after me leaving, I don't know. Now I'm hoping the reason it was hard to spin was just because of these bits of hard scale here. Right, so let me just do one of them kind of live, well not live, but in real time, and then after that we'll do the rest just fast forwarding because it's just gonna take, it's gonna take quite a long time. So let's just start with this one here. You can see that this is completely blocked. Ah oh, yeah, there you go, look. Yeah, so that's what's happened. The bits are just flying down the inside and then being forced out here. Yeah, there you go, that's clear. And now what I can do is when I've cleaned each of them, they don't take much to clear, I can then get the hose pipe, force it down here outside, and it will shoot out of all the holes. And then we might find a few more of them get blocked because there's probably plenty of scale in these bits here. And then eventually we will be able to do it, be able to get them all, look at that one. Okay, I managed to knock that one back in. Let's get some tweezers on that. Then I'm gonna find this quite therapeutic. Okay, now that one's gone back in, bit of a shame. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier for me to get that hose pipe out. Oh, there's loads in this one, I suppose, at the ends, because of uh, centrifugal force, or is it centripedal force? I'm not sure, but because this is spinning, I suppose all the scale is gonna be getting knocked down to these end ones here. I mean, in here, there's loads. I can feel it. Yeah, there's loads in that. And that one there. Look at that. Yeah, 
There you go, there's a good amount come out of that one. Right, so you get the idea here, that's what I'm going to be working on. falling out when I just whack it. Loads coming out of it. Right, okay, that is the top one done. You can still see that there's plenty of scale in here. So, when I put the hose pipe through this, that will all disappear then. Or, do you know what might even be better? I'm wondering, in a bath, just a bath of cold water, sloshing it around. I'm not even gonna need to use any chemicals on this because this is all just breaking up really nicely anyway. So I think maybe a bath might be a, a better, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe with the hose pipe, it will squirt out here more. I'll see. Not too sure yet, I suppose the bath would be a cleaner option. Now let's try to do this one here. This is gonna be a lot harder because I haven't really got a huge hole here for all the rubbish to come out of. So this is, I mean, I can hear it, listen. That's all scale in there. And you can see, there you go, now it's all coming out. Look at that. I'm amazed I've never had to do this, do this before. Shows you how much hard water ruins things. I suppose by rights, really, this does need to be replaced because if you have a look now, the angles of these jets are going to be wrong. So it looks like originally this was going to shoot out this way and this would shoot out this way. But now, because they've just been whacked around so much, they're probably just going to kind of come straight out. But uh, I think it will be okay. I still think it will clean up the dishes. Dishwasher's old now, it's uh, about six years old, and I don't think it was that expensive to begin with, so I really wouldn't want to be spending too much money on it. So I'd rather repair it cheaply, if possible. Right, look at that. So basically all these are just rock hard bits of scale. So some of these are kind of like uh, sludgy here. That's just where the water's mixed with it. But if you listen now, no more shake. And no more shake. So what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna get the hose pipe on this because I wanna see all the bits flying around the place. So I'm gonna put my wellies on because it's gonna be a bit dirty. I'm sure you'd get exactly the same thing by just dunking it in a bath a few times and swilling it all around just to get rid of all these bits here. Even as it is now, I'm sure it's gonna work pretty good. But if possible, I would like to, now that I've gone to the bother of taking them off and making a mess, I would prefer to get all those bits to scale out. But you know what? That was a really enjoyable job. Slightly on the messy side, but uh, yeah, really good. So I'm gonna bring these outside now with the hose pipe. All right, so I've got the hose pipe now. I'm gonna put it on the most, uh, the kind of most one like a jet. Hold on now. There we go, that one there. Right, so I can see it coming out all those holes there. You can see how it works now. And I'm gonna to try to make it go backwards as well. 
Right, you get the idea, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be fast forwarding through this. In fact, I can see scale on the floor. Yeah, lots come out of this one if you look straight down there, all around here. Can't really see it in the camera. I'm happy with that now, it appears to be coming out of all the holes. So when I put it in there, you can see it's coming out of everything. And on this one. So I think they're ready to put back on now. Right, so it's just a case of whacking them back on now. So let's start with the top one. Pressure fit. And that will be fine when it's hanging the right way around. So let's pop that back into the little grooves. And then all we have to do is slide these things across there and also across there like that. Right, so that's back in its home now and that's spinning nicely. There's nothing wrong with, wrong with that. I'm pretty sure that that's going to work fine. Uh, this is the one I'm more intrigued with, the bottom one. So with this one now, it's just going to be a case of pushing down. I've already cleaned up, cleaned up around, uh, around the bottom of it here. So let's push it in. There we go. Ah, that's better. Look at that. Oh, there's no stopping that now. I'm 100% sure that this is going to work fine. Perfect. Right, just get the tray in. Put a basket. Yep, perfect. Remember, that's only doing it because I'm doing it. When the weight, when the water's in it, it's going to be going through its own, uh, own momentum. Yeah, well happy with that. So now we're just going to put a wash on and uh, put in a dirty couple of cups and plates and hopefully it will come up nice and clean again like it used to. Okay, so it's the end of the day now and we've got our normal load in here. I normally give everything a quick rinse before going in the dishwasher anyway, so it has quite an easy life. That plate's still got a bit of stuff on it. Let's uh, pop it on. I'm going to put it back to the normal one that we used to use before it started to play up. I think it was 60, so let's... Uh, Turn it on, move that round. 65 is what we normally have it on. So uh, let's see how it performs. Okay, so it's stopped. Let's see if it's uh, done. All right. Perfect. Yeah, okay, that's not like it was before. You remember that one there. And all the plates feel nice and uh, warm. So it looks like yeah, well happy with that. Excellent, so what a lovely, simple, easy fix. Just cleaning out the spray arms, getting rid of all the scale, and now it's all up and running again, which is fantastic. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more Trying to Fix videos. Take care, bye now.